Hello, golden people of the golden land. I'm so excited to have you here as I have this beautiful channel message to deliver. And it is about making decisions in our life and why our body shakes every time we make a decision. And I think this is very, um, this message has arrived in a very timely manner. <laughs> because a lot is transitioning. I'm hearing a lot of conversations um, regarding relationship changing, eating habits changing, rhythms of the body changing, cravings, desires, everything shifting. Well, I mean, no surprise, because if you heard my uh, 2024 predictions on the summit, you probably heard me mention that we have now moved into the golden era, the golden grids of the earth have shifted. So, I mean, when the earth shifts, all of humanity shifts with it. So our physical and energetic grids have also shifted into the golden time and era. So of course, we're all transitioning. And that's going to mean changes everywhere. Changes absolutely everywhere, impacting every aspect and angle of our lives. And when I received this message, I was making a big leap. And that leap was rebranding rebranding from connect with Gia to opulence with Gia because opulence is actually my sacred elixir it is my true calling you know um through my psychic gifts and spiritual gifts my calling is actually opulence and it's um to help humanity realize that we have no capacity in receiving and we can receive how much we like to receive there's really no limit to it so when I was making this decision about rebranding, I knew it was my calling. I knew I had to do this. I wrote down an action plan and my heart was like, yes, yes, yes. I was excited, but my body shut down. My physical body was shaky. I felt nauseous. I had a headache. I felt stiff. I felt stiff, actually. I was shaking, but at the same time, I felt like I couldn't move. And I just thought, why? Like, my heart knows this is my calling. This feels right in my gut intuitively. So why is my physical body shaking so much? And I was literally shaking for about a week. I had that same symptoms of just shakiness and everything of the entire week. And I kept brushing it off as, Oh, ascension symptoms. The moon is in this phase. We have an eclipse. We have this, I, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then as I was driving, I received this message. I actually had to get off the highway, park my car and make a note of it in my phone real quick before I lost it. Because I feel like everyone gets distracted when this happens. We're making a massive change in our life and we're taking action towards our highest point of ascension. And we feel a little bit of physical discomfort. We just think, oh, we're sick. Oh my gosh, this thing is giving me anxiety. And then we either get stuck in the mental body. We get super in depth, like indecisive. We can't decide. We think, oh no, but like I have anxiety. I feel anxious about this, but I know I want to do this. What do I do? Where do I go? Or we simply just put our action plan on the side and start going to the doctors, start looking at our diet. We start looking at supplements because we're bloated. We have a headache and we keep pushing our action plan and our calling to the side because we're, we get so caught up with the physical symptoms. And then we just keep giving all our attention, intention and energy to the symptoms of the physical being, which in no means am I saying ignore your body, like 100% address your issues. You know, if you have muscle soreness, headaches and everything, you do need to unpack that as well. But this is the channel message I received. I received. And I feel like a lot of humanity will resonate with this as well. This is exactly what I received. When making a life-changing decision, why does the heart feel so strong, but the body shakes? The feeling of anxiety starts to build up. But you know you have taken the right action. This is when your body is upgrading to meet your spirit. 
Against all expectations and current reality, you have quantum leaped into the highest version of yourself. Your cells are regenerating, so the body feels shaky and restless. The cells are detoxing all old ways of being. Your cells are going through a major detox and releasing all those memories, all that stored energy and frequency that's no longer serving you. This is why when making a right decision, you may shake. Now saying the saying, get out of your comfort zone, it makes a lot of sense now, does it not? Get out of your comfort zone, because that's exactly what your cells are doing. They are releasing the comfort of your ways, your old ways of being. Because you are now rushing up by leaving the job you hate, leaving the relationship, or taking a financial risk to support you in the future, you are now rushing or running towards it. Your cells, your physical body needs to also meet you at that level where you are spiritually, where you are emotionally. And in order for that to happen, you do need to change your physical way of being as well. So your body does shake. It shakes because the ego loves nostalgia. The ego loves comfort. The ego loves who you are and wants to keep you there. But your higher self always knows that there is a better place to be always. There's always room for growth. There's always room for improvement. And it wants to take you there to your highest point of ascension. So your cells need time. Your physical body requires you to rest, recharge, eat vibrationally to meet your spirit body. So this is why we get all these ascension symptoms on the physical level when we are making massive life decisions that are going to impact the entire structure of our future selves and current selves. So <laughs> my mind was blown. I was like, oh, my cells are detoxing all the old wounds, old way of being, because I am now stepping into my new avatar, the highest version of myself that is available at this moment. So if you ever catch yourself getting a little shaky when making a decision that lights you up, you're excited, it feels right, you just know it's right for you, but your body is shaking, I want you to lean into it more. Okay. I want you to, of course, honor your physical body, right? Rest as needed, eat as needed. Okay. Love yourself up as needed, but don't put away the action plan. Take consistent steps one by one to get there to your highest point of ascension. Do not leave your physical being behind. I would actually also invite you to look at your physical surroundings. Is it still speaking to you? Or does it feel like it's someone else's space now? Because you may want to upgrade your physical surrounding as well. So your physical being starts to feel more comfortable in it as well. Because your spirit is trying to take you to the next level. And having the sight, the seeing, you know, to comprehend and work with the human brain to integrate it slowly as a process, like, oh, this is who I'm becoming. I'm becoming opulence with Gia. So I need to have everything of opulence around me, of great luxury and wealth. So I'm going to introduce more gold. I'm going to wear more jewelry to let my body know this is who we're becoming. And it's safe. It's safe here. So speak to yourself from the physical level as well. Not just the spiritual level, but the physical level as well. And that is what my guides had to say today. I hope you're all having an amazing week. I know we're heading into a very busy season. Um, so do pour into your glass first. Don't ditch yourself, okay? Don't get too overwhelmed. I love you all so much. And if you wanna connect further with me, I have all of my social media, my website linked below in the description. And again, I am so grateful for your presence today. And thank you so much for gracing my video with your likes and your comments. I love you all. Have a blessed day.